What's going on, guys? I'm Jado Blight. Shout out to everybody tuning in. I want to talk about Michael B. Jordan. There's an actress comedian by the name of Phoebe Wash Up uh, Robinson. And she is publicly talking about how she wants to date Michael B. Jordan. She wants to shoot her shot at him. And she may not be the most well-known. She's on the show called Two Dope Queens. And another called Everything is Trash. And she's putting it out there jokingly. But there are people who believe she might actually, in her own way, be shooting her shot at Michael B. Jordan. Okay, we know Michael B. Jordan is single. Uh, personally, I think that he's back with his ex, Ashlyn. I think he's done with the sisters for a short period of time. And, <laughs> and I think he's going back to his ex, man. Listen, I, I, listen, Michael B. Jordan left Lori Harvey. That's been confirmed. He wanted nothing to do with her. He realized he made a mistake. And he got out of it. And I think that's why it seemed like he was the most hurt by that relationship not working out because I believe he wanted it to work and it didn't work and he got out of it before any more damage could be done. Now, in regards to this particular female, uh, Phoebe, what's interesting about her is that she was recently in a relationship last year with this guy that she met at a YouTube concert. And, and also, when you go to her page, she's highly thirsty for men in general, but mainly Caucasian men, right? Like, I don't know what it is, man. But it's, <laughs> she has a thing with the Caucasian guys. And she puts up these posts about, you know, a thirsty post about a, a guy. And it's mainly, again, Caucasian guys. You know, some, some guys, you know. And one of the guys on her page that she really was enamored with is Michael B. Jordan. And I don't know if she really believes that she has a chance of Michael B. Jordan. Most of these chicks probably think they do. Um, but honestly, I, I think that when you have women out here who are shooting their shot at Michael B. Jordan, they're doing it from a place of, well, he was with Lori and he's not, he's a good guy because she believes he's a good guy. And she believes that Michael B. Jordan is someone who, uh, again, he's a guy that she's attracted to, but he's also a, a nice guy. You never hear anything bad about, except for the women on social media who uh, tend to troll him due to his dating preferences or what they perceive to be his dating preferences. But let's get into this article here from page six. Actress Phoebe Washington is shooting her shot with Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan, listen, I know you're available. Washington joke on page to page six at the premiere of Freeform's Everything's Trash on Monday. The comedian 37 added that people actually encouraged her to reach out to him after his split from Lori Harvey, but she didn't have his number. Of course she wouldn't have his number. <laughs> he ain't just giving his number to anybody. So I'm doing this. Michael, so I'm doing this here, Michael, she expressed. Robinson remained tight-lipped about her current relationship status, but she said that she was happy to be out in the streets again after CV-19 lockdown. <laughs> of course, a lot of these women are. That's why we're seeing so many divorces. There are a lot of women who are happy. They so happy to, to finally be able to go out and do whatever. This summer was going to be for the divorced woman. I think this summer is for the divorced woman or this, you know, the woman who ends her relationship like Lori uh, got, you know, even though it was Michael's decision, I think Lori sort of sandbagged it a bit because she realized Michael B. Jordan was serious and, you know, she didn't want anything serious and he had to let it go. So this is the summer of the single heifer and the divorced heifer. This is their summer, right? And... But Phoebe to say that she's basically saying what a lot of other women are saying. You know, we was locked down in 2020, some states 2021. So this year, this summer, you know, they're able to really do whatever now. And they're wilding out. A lot of these single women are, are wilding out, man. Ain't no telling what they into. Okay. Whole lot of trips. <laughs> a whole lot of thirst trapping going on. You know. So she's newly single 
let's see. The two dopes, or the two dope queens star previously dated Luke Downs, who she met at a U2 concert in 2017. However, the couple hasn't posted each other on Instagram since February of 2021. That is because if you go to her Instagram, she's posting a bunch of other men. So that should have been a that should have been a, a sign that her and that dude was over. Like if you go to her Instagram, I'm telling you, there's just a bunch of like dedication posts to to men, mainly Caucasian men. <laughs> Just very thirsty. Meanwhile, Jordan 35 and Harvey 25 broke up in June after almost two years of dating. Despite scrubbing their Instagram clean of each other after the split, the former couple has kept matters private, but that didn't stop Harvey's dad, uh, Steve Harvey, from commenting on the split. Well, she's subliminally dissed Michael B. Jordan numerous times, and so has her mother as well. I wish them well. I'm Team Lori, 1,000%. She's my daughter. I love her. I support her. The Family Feud host, 65, said on his morning radio show on June 6th. He's still a cool guy, you know. From what I know, it's a breakup. I'm pretty sure they'll be fine. People break up all the time. The Creed actor and model began dating in the fall of 2020 and went Instagram official in January 2021. Beyond her love life, Robinson told us that she's transitioned from aspiring to be Nordstrom Rack version of Oprah Winfrey to a Kmart Zendaya as she hopes to win an Emmy like the Euphoria star. She also spent the last three years working on her new sitcom, which was inspired by her book, Everything's Trash, But It's Okay. The show premieres with back-to-back -back episodes July 13th at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Freeform. He always giving these random black female comedian shows that you never heard of, ain't it? <laughs> listen, man, listen. Listen, this we are in a day and age, right, where guys like Michael B. Jordan will be ready to settle down. He's buying a new home. You know, he wants to be more settled, but he's with a woman that doesn't want the same thing. But there are women out here, like a Phoebe, even though, you know, I believe she's more into Caucasian guys. But, you know, I think a lot of these women will still choose Michael B. Jordan as a crush, right? Because they're not really into most regular black dudes, but Michael B. Jordan's probably one of the few, uh, especially with Phoebe. She's into Michael B. Jordan because she knows that he's a good dude. And he and she's highly attracted to him. And that's what these women really look for. But it's usually after the fact. And I think Michael B. Jordan, if I were him, I would steer clear of any famous women. No more famous women. No more women trying to build their names and their followings off of me. Because that's what Lori did. I don't care what none of y'all. So you're gonna say, well, Lori had her own name, but it helped her to date Michael B. Jordan. Let's be real. If you don't think it helped her to date Michael B. Jordan, you're crazy. And that's why I think Michael B. Jordan may have, at, at the, you know, when the relationship broke down, people said, well, he's hurt. It's because he put a lot into it. When you put a lot into something, of course, you're going to feel some type of way. But I think he's he's moving on or he's moved on. That's why he scrubbed his Instagram. Because to him, you know, he has to understand that, you know, you, you got to choose better women. You have to choose better women. In the, the day, it's up to us as men to choose the right women to give our energies to. And maybe he felt like he could change Lori. Maybe he felt like, you know, he would be able to finally get her to settle down. But she is 25. And her, I believe that her mother, Marjorie, is telling her, listen, you don't have to settle down now. You can wait until you're 40 to settle down. There'll still be men like Michael B. Jordan. No, they're not. No, there is not <laughs> gonna be men like Michael B. Jordan wait for her. It's not how it works out here because we've already seen in the last couple of years all the dudes that she's been with. She ain't been in no real long term relationships, you know. So I just think that Michael B. Jordan is better off just dating non famous women because or non known women, right? Because the scheduling. 
the the fact that you know Lori, women like Lori, they thrive off of media and being able to say that they have you know Michael B. Jordan as their spouse. Uh, it helps. It really does. In social media reach, as far as getting opportunities, it does help Lori. What What is Lori famous for? What talent does she have? She has a talent for spending Steve Harvey's money, but what other talent does she have? She doesn't. She doesn't have that. Now, in regards to Phoebe, listen, Phoebe's just thirsty. <laughs> Phoebe's just thirsty. Again, you go to her Instagram, man, it's nothing but posts of her just showing how thirsty she is for a lot of famous men. It's almost like she's a she's a groupie, a fan. You know, I've said this about Meg Thee Stallion. Meg Thee Stallion, you know, I would say, what, a year or so ago before she got with Partisan, right? She gave off this fangirl energy. Like, it, she just came off as a fangirl. And Phoebe kind of on her IG too. I mean, you got all these dudes that you're giving these dedication posts to. What happens if you get into a relationship? Are you going to take them down? You're going to keep doing them? Maybe this is something that Phoebe's done before, but it just it just comes off as she's just thirsty for a, a guy that she finds attractive, but none of those guys are going to give her the time of day, even Michael B. Jordan. I'm sorry. So let me know what's thing in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see you all next one.